palms to prayer. When I'm teaching yoga, there's a place that people want to go to. They might think in a specific asana, it's an end point. Movements we go into in our bodies that help us to get there, wherever there is. But you're not going up and out. You're going in and in and in. I'm Lenora Willis, and I'm a vinyasa flow yoga teacher. I'll lead you through different poses, different sequences of poses, the transitions between. So opening up here and lengthening out there. Breathing here, grounding there, rooting there. All to kind of unwind things. Open up the lines of energy and let that energy flow. What makes a yoga teacher good is her ability to really see her students. Look to the floor. In order to do that, you have to diminish your ego. You have to step outside yourself and see who each individual student is and what it is that they're holding up or holding away from or where they could let that go. And you help to guide them there. And it can be in a pose or it can be just sitting or it can be as they're breathing, but you have to look you have to be able to step outside yourself and take a good look at who they are in order to teach to them. People need a little guiding touch to get to places or to recognize where they currently are. It's a guide usually, pressure or weight or maybe just a light touch. I do like to give hands-on adjustments and I've been learning how to do them well, how to do them effectively, but it starts again by looking at the student and seeing what it is that they need, what they can't do with verbal cues, what maybe perhaps a little touch can bring to the pose for them. One more breath. With your exhale, step far back. Come all the way up to reverse triangle. Straighten that front leg. And then fan the hands down. Let's step to pigeon, right shin to the floor. At the end of a yoga class, when I have students finish to come to prayer at heart center and give a bow, I say, bow to yourself, because that's all the practice is for. It's only for yourself, but not in a selfish way, in a way that honors yourself, loves yourself, in a giving, kind way. In that moment, there's a lot of gratitude that we've given ourselves the time for the practice, and I'm so thankful to be a part of that, Look around, to be able to do what I do, to be able to teach yoga. <laughs> <Yeah>. <laughs> Namaste. Namaste. Thank you.